Hi there. Welcome to Suburban Preppers. So it's been a little while. <laughs> Almost eight months. I think it might be even longer than eight months now. So you're probably wondering, those subscribers who watch the videos, where have we been? Unfortunately, nowhere exciting. It's just been a case of life's run away. We never intended to stop making videos on the channel. It, it's just one of those things that it just happened. Like I say, life's just been pretty chaotic. I've had shift changes at work, so I'm, I don't know whether I'm coming or going with the shifts that I work. Sometimes I work loads of days where I never seem to get a day off, and then it seems like I've got a few days off in a row, as is this the case now. I've got four days in a row, but because I've worked so many to get the four days off in a row, I'm, I'm exhausted. It took us two days to recover from the, the lack of sleep. I work very early in the mornings. I don't seem to sleep very well. If I go to bed early to try and get the eight hours, I'll wake up after three or four hours and then I can't get back to sleep. So I, I probably get around five or six hours sleep a day. And like I say, when I've got so many days where I'm working in a row, the, the lack of sleep just catches up and has me absolutely exhausted. On top of that, Laura has a new job as well. So, I mean, she's got fixed hours, so it, it's great for her, you know. However, unfortunately, with my shifts, we were like ships in the night. You know, we, we pass each other. We, we never really see each other. We get four days off together a month now. So when we're off together, we try to value that time and, and do something wisely with it and then obviously our grandson as well we have our grandson a lot our daughter works every friday saturday sunday so laura works monday to friday so she has our grandson on the weekends when she's not at work and again anyone who either has a toddler or has had a toddler <laughs> you'll know what it's like you know you've got to have eyes in the back of your head you can't you can't take your attention off them for two minutes otherwise they're they're doing something they shouldn't be or or whatever you know so it's it's just it's just how it is but i'm back it's probably just going to be me by myself hopefully laura will appear in some of the videos as and when she can but she's still there in the background even if she's not on the on the camera on the videos so unfortunately for you guys you're gonna have to put up with me <laughs> sorry so what does the future hold for suburban preppers youtube channel so i'd like the channel to go more of a a, a kit review type of way um you know where we we've got different products and we're having a look at them seeing how useful they might be for preppers to use or useless if that is the case obviously nobody funds this channel only myself and laura so some of the kit you might look at it and think well that's rubbish but you know we're, we're having to pay for it all out of our own pocket you know we might not have the the top of the range best items but you know we we've got what we've got we're like everyone else in life we have our lot the hand that's dealt with us and we deal with it as best we can you know so some people might have the money to get more premium items of what we've got. Some people might not have the money to get the items that we've got and might have to get a lower quality or go without. But, you know, that's it's not to say that we are right and you're wrong or you're right and we're wrong. It, it's just it is what it is. On top of gear reviews, I just want to also give like my thoughts on situations. You know, obviously the Russia Ukraine thing is it still a massive worry to myself and a lot of other people. As of the time of recording this video, Israel is kicking off massively with Hezbollah in Lebanon. And obviously they've got the the never-ending incidents happening in the Gaza Strip as well, you know. So we've got all of that happening, at least in the UK here right now. There's been, well, there's going to be rather, I, I believe, massive crop shortages and whatnot. You know, it, it's been horrendous over the summer. We've had... Not much sunshine, loads and loads of rain, and the harvests are just horrendous. You know, farmers are reporting, you know, all the crops have been just rotting in the ground. They've just had to plough it in. So 
so potential food shortages, things things like that, you know? So I'm not gonna try and cover every everything in here, but I'm sure you get the gist of the idea. So as well as kit reviews and giving my thoughts on things, we also want to try experimenting with different things, you know, such as, as solar, um, seeing if we can create different items, also, the, the seven pound for seven days shopping challenge that we were doing. While we enjoyed doing that, it was quite time consuming having to go to all the different stores and looking for stuff and picking stuff up and putting it back because it would take us over budget or, or whatnot. So we've decided instead of doing a seven day challenge, we're going to look at perhaps like a either four weekly or monthly we still like the idea of one pound per day, so... But obviously some months have got more days than others. Some February, for example, has is, is only got 28 or 29 leap year. So rather than having the money amount fluctuating every time, we're perhaps just going to set the, the budget at, say, 30 pounds. So once a month we'll do a, a 30 pound shop and we'll see what we get. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. I could keep going on and on, but I'm sure it's probably getting extremely boring right now. So I'll just say hello again and also goodbye for now. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.